All right. So uh, in the body, in biochemistry, you have these things called sphingolipids. And they're called this because the backbone is a sphingosine. Now attached to the C2 carbon, you get a fatty acid. And uh, when you get one of these fatty acids attached, you go from, you get this uh, complex called a ceramide, ceramide, called a ceramide. And usually the fatty acid is a 16, 0, a 18, or 22 or 20, 20, 22 or 24 is usually what it's attached. And here on the C1 carbon is when you get attachment to here, this is called the polar head group. And it's polar, obviously, because you kind of start forming a dipole this way. And uh, when you get different things attached to the polar head group, that's how you get different classifications of sphingolipids. Now, the first group is something called a sphingomyelin. And what happens is you get something like phosphocholine or phosphoethanolamine attached to this polar head group. And instead of just calling it a phospholipid, the reason it's called a sphingomyelin is because in the brain, you have a membrane around the axons made of, of this fatty stuff, and this is called myelin. So because this is so prominent, it determines the whole naming group of this class. So these are called sphingomyelins. And you'll get... Um, sphingomyelins and other things such as animal cell membranes, but generally around the axons in the brain. So the second group of sphingolipids is called glycosphingolipids. The reason it's called this is, well, attached to the polar head group is a, uh, is a sugar or a saccharide. And uh, if you have one saccharide, it's called a cerebroside. Now, if you have two glucoses attached to the polar head group, then you get something called a globoside. Now, the third group of these sphingolipids is called a ganglioside. So what determines a ganglioside is attached to the polar head group, you have a, you have a oglyosaccharide, which is basically just a saccharide polymer. So you have multiple saccharides linked together. In addition to this oglyosaccharide, you have a an acetyl neuraminic acid and or ba or the abbreviation is nana which is pretty funny if you ask me okay <laughs> okay so you get different namings based on how many nanas you have so you have to have both of these but the nanas can vary so you have to have one or more acetyl neuraminic acids if you have one it's called GM. Uh, two is labeled at two nanas is labeled as GD. Three is GT, and four is GQ. And the reason this is, is this is mono, di, tri, and quad. So the number of nanas on your ganglioside is how you name based on this prefix. So these are the various sphingolipids and how they are categorized. Categorized.